All right, guys. Today, we've got lots of things to do. It's 60 degrees outside. Um, I have to keep a watch by Tracy by my phone, have the camera on her. As long as I can hear it, then I can hear if she's beeping or anything. And that's how I have to work and do this stuff. So I didn't, I didn't video it for you, but we already emptied the van and then took all the leaves out of the front pond. So let's go take a look at that. Are you I'll done yet? You around, you don't stop <laughs> okay, you can see that all the leaves are on this side. Now look at that. They've all blown in from, look at all these leaves coming in from somewhere. They're blowing, the wind's blowing really hard. Look at that tree. So leaves are coming across, coming right at me. And they're getting back in the pond. I don't know where they're all coming from, but I had this whole pond completely clear and free of leaves. So I got to do it again now. Okay, we got the trailer emptied too. And waiting for this weekend, we have a, a big pickup to go do. Back to Michigan again. So uh, we emptied it and set everything right here for now. Now I can start setting the shelves up inside and then putting all the tanks on it and setting up that sink. That's the main part that I wanted was the sink set up. So that's done. Now if you come in here, we just had two people drop off fish to us. Oh, it's dark in here. All right, so Jerry's working on, we got three tubs of cichlids and different fish in there, and then one tub of community fish over there that are acclimating into the tank. These all came from the same fish tank, so Jerry's acclimating back into the 75. They all came out of the 55. Um, and then uh, we've got this guy here, a blue channel cat came in. We're putting him in the 75, and uh, he's been acclimating for a while. He's ready to move in now. I don't want him jumping. I can move him in right now. If you want. He's already done acclimating? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. So that's what we got to do next. And uh, just a whole lot at once. What do we got? Let me see what else. Here. Gary's going to try his luck. Just scoop him against the side right there. There you go. Jerry, you got me wet. No, he went that way. <laughs> I was grateful. Well, he got me wet. Good. 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 <laughs> he says good. All right. So now he's in there. Any guys want him, let us know. We need a good home for him. <sighs> what else we got? Give out. Yeah, we got a lot of cleaning to do. Straighten up and put away. Oh, I just cleaned this out of all algae inside of there. All that big string algae that's grown up the middle of that plant. It was all over that wood. It was all over back here. There's still some left, like around this plant. You can see it in there. But I got big handfuls of it out. So that's doing good. And again, during the day, look at the disco ball lights. They're all the way to the room, up on the ceiling. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Oh, okay. I see Brutus. Oh, there. There he is. Bruiser. So that's all doing good. Here, come out back here and let me show you this pond. I'll get a glimpse of this guy as we're going by. I'm so glad we didn't lose him when all that electric went out. Yeah, look at you. Look how fancy you are. Okay, over here. All the Frontosa babies. All the bass. All right. 
Look at all the leaves on the back deck here. They're coming from somewhere. Other people that haven't cleaned their leaves up out of their yard. Uh, okay. It's looking actually a, a green color. But see through. There's some panda fish there. Well, there's there's a bunch of them right there. Yeah, you can see now that the warm water got up. It's turned green. The day before yesterday, this was crystal clear. Now it's starting to turn green with algae. It's too soon for that stuff to be growing. <clears throat> Reason being, the algae grows, all the little plants start sprouting, and then we have another freeze and kills everything. The back pond, we can see way back there. You can see the level of it, it's up high, it's good. But it's muddy again, and that was clear where we can see the fish back there. So that tells me that since it's muddy, all them koi have been moving around and stirring up the mud and eating the mud sides and making the pond bigger. <laughs> See, this is what kills me. There's a garbage bag and a box in my in my pond. The wind brings stuff from all over and knocks over trees like our, our plants here. <sighs> ouch, 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 ouch. Just walked into that stove that's sitting there on the ground. These are all the chair cushions. I need to go back on the chairs out there. But let me come over here. Huh. Yeah, see, there's no leaves in the trees. Oh, look at that there. The neighbor makes a pile of leaves there, a pile of limbs and leaves there, and then the air blows it all down on my side. I had that all vacuumed, or not vacuumed, but uh, mowed up with the bagger. Now, yep. now it looks like I, I just don't take care of my side. <laughs> ah, well. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Let me see what else we can go look at. Oh, and just a, let you guys know a little, there's fish in there but we still cannot set this up we have it all ready the tanks ready but like i said right here the cement has dropped down two inches and you can see the side of the pool which over here you can't see how the side of the pool is level over here it's dropped down two inches and you got a ledge all the way across here all the way over to about there you can see back where it's level again there so underneath here we have to figure out a way to get under here because this is all hollow all the way around. When I looked in from the side, it's a little eight by 10 window, you can see the side of the shell and this is all hollow. So I need to get under here, put a beam across right here, two jacks and jack it up and bring this back up level to this side and then put a support in the middle back there a ways. Before, maybe another beam on that side of the tank. So there's one on each side of the tank. Uh, so a beam here going across here with two jacks and a beam there going across support in the middle with two jacks and that side will just be held up and it'll be fine before I put any weight into here so no we're not selling it no we're not giving it out I'm just waiting until we have to dig a hole and get under this deck we haven't been able to find a way in so it's we haven't forgot about it and uh, we're getting to it well, let me come back here turn these lights on There we go. Now the lights are on. All right. Come on back here. Let's look at some of our favorite fish. There's our favorite Geo. Oh my God, look at him. He's even gotten longer fins and even more colored. Wow. What a beautiful fish. Look at that. Amazing. That fish is just spectacular. Then we got the Armadas in here. He's big. 
I'd say he's 15, 16 inches. Of course, the giraffe nose, some tinfoil barbs, the albino arrow, the albino wells cap, uh, Chinese wells. Where is, oh, here's our guy. That's Lone Star, our lungfish. And he's getting big too. I'd say he's about uh, probably 15 inches. He's big. Now, if this tile is 12 inches, then that would make him about 13, 14. He's getting big. He came in the size of my pinky, though. As long as my pinky and as wide as my pinky. And now look at him. I like this tank because I don't get to see it all the time. This is not a tank that I feed. Josh feeds this one. So I barely walk back here because when you come in, oh, there's a red-tailed giant garami too. There he goes. When, when you come in, you walk through this door, come from the house, and you come in and you go to the fish room that way. Or I walk on that side and I feed all those tanks. So I really don't come down this way. I like coming over and looking at that tank. It's really neat. Let me see what else we got in here. He's getting to be pretty big too. Uh, lots of things have been moved around. That's all Skyler's fish in the 75 gallon now. Instead of the little tank inside, it was I think a 20 gallon. So they all go into a 75 now for grow out purposes. And our rays, still doing good. They're over there. There's some under here. I don't see any behind here. So there's three right there. Four, five, six. Yeah, there's two more. Seven over there. There's one more. There's one more underneath you. That photos is starting to grow wild over it. It's growing over here. From one strand that comes over that got all the leaves knocked off from going in and out of there, come over to here and it found a water source and starts growing again. And all this was from these three strands. This one and this one. And then, oh, four strands come over top of this fish tank from over here. Let me zoom out. From over here, it goes across top of this fish tank and then started all this over here. And going up the wall. Look at that. I didn't even see that. It's going up the wall. How does it go up a flat, bare wall? Wow. That's cool. And then these guys have just gone hog wild. Josh hates it when he goes over here. He has to pull all these <laughs> the uh, socks out. These things are all rooting down in. and I keep taking these and just putting them over top of this, heading it over top and towards this way because now we got it going this way. And you can see how this is barren in here. That's from, you know, Josh or I, when we get up there, you knock off leaves from it. But it's bushy over there and it's bushy over this way. And it goes all the way down. And now it is reaching to right here, which is, that's 10 foot. This is another five that's 15 foot from this point right here. So then there's, let me see, four foot to here, another so six foot. So that's 21 foot from the base plant that them, them are stretching out. Oh, they're going up the wall there too. I see one went up the wall and died, and this one is going up the wall. Huh. Oh, here's another one. I didn't even see this one. Oh, there's two of them down here. Look at that. We'll put them across here. Oh, look. This guy's all the way down on the ground. Crazy. I love the way this photos grows. Let's put this down under here a little bit. There we go. Now it'll be coming across. Get two more strands. As it gets longer, I'll pull that back and let it dangle or something where we don't knock them, knock it apart. Then all these plants in here are growing good. These two clumps are, are doing really well. I like that. But you know what impresses me about these plants are these crypts in here. Look how big these crypts are getting. These things are crazy. Oh, there's all kinds of snails in here too, huh? 
But yeah, these crypts, they were like this in the last tank. Oh, look at all these snails down here. Oh my goodness. Look at all those snails. Well, we're going to have to put some lettuce in there and wake up in the morning and take the lettuce out and put it in the puffer tank. We'll head these all over this way. So yeah, as long as we don't break them off, the plants are doing great. Now I'd like to go ahead and get rid of these fake plants in here and in here and have real plants in there. And if at all possible, plant some down in this cichlid tank all the way around and get rid of any of these fake plants. That one back there, that one right there, there's a third one right here. So there's three on this side. Let me see here. Is that one? No, that is not. Four, this one. Five, nope, that's the sad one. Uh, so there's five fake plants I'd like to get out of here and replace with live plants that'll, that'll grow in this tank that deep. And the same thing for over here. I don't know if we got fake plants over here. Oh, these lights ain't even on. Nope. No fake plants. So, the, the Bellagio uh, cichlid tank, the <clears throat> electric eel, and the Abbott tank. Get rid of all them plants. We've got five big ones over here. This one here, I think, has got one. Nope, two. One, two. And then keep putting live plants in like this one. This one's got two. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. And uh, that'll make them all live plants. And I don't see a reason why they wouldn't grow. We just have to maybe change the lighting. We'll see when we do how the plants start off growing. You can tell if they're not doing well. You can change the lighting and put some good lighting on there. And then they'll start, you know, sparking right up. This plant, or this tank, got all kinds of plants in it. And it's doing good. Nothing in there. We moved all the angels up to the front 150. Okay, now, <laughs> for the end of the video, look what we picked up for the cat. Send him up to see if he likes it. He's going to love it. Look at that face on you. Hi, Loki. He's the cutest little thing. All right, pick him up. Now, he's got... <laughs> he see, one, two... Does he? He's got two houses to go into, one, two things to sit on, like hammocks, and then a bed up top. There's, yeah, there's one that's supposed to connect. It's right behind you. Oh, I didn't even see that. I'm going to grab it and set it there. We got the bolt for it inside. <laughs> and it goes like this, make it even higher. We picked that up for 35 bucks. It's, it's out here because we washed it today, soaked it down, we hosed it down, we, we cleaned it with 50% uh, uh, what is it, what was that stuff called? Hydrogen peroxide and yeah. water. And then we brushed it all down and left it out here to dry. And uh, it's it's getting pretty dry. Oh, I, that feels dry, dry as can be. Yeah. Uh, there's still a little bit of wetness at the very bottom of this one. Yeah. But there's Loki and, and the new mascot. What's up, buddy? Look <laughs> at that face. Okay. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, uh, you know, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe. And share it if you can, if you, if you please. Uh, no more negativity. In fact, what I want to do is, for the best positive comment, I will I will tag that or, or post it at the top of all the comments. So if you have a great comment Aww. and I like it, we'll choose it. We'll put it at the top and it'll be tagged at the very top so everybody can see that comment first. Just gearing towards positivity. <laughs> so as, as we always say, stay fishy, my friends. <laughs>